Hi, I'm here with Jilly from the Hampshire Gallery. Um, the Hampshire Gallery specialises in canine and equestrian paintings. Can you tell me a little bit more about your business, Jilly? Uh, well, we have the largest collection of uh, antique dog paintings in England and we also sell equestrian and cat paintings, but uh, cat paintings we have none at the moment because they're terribly difficult to find. Uh, we have the largest collection of sporting antique sporting jewellery in the world, uh, jewellery relating to dogs, cats, horses, uh, a gold pin or a reverse intaglio crystal. And um, we have clients mainly in America and England. We have about three or 4,000 clients, and we tend to find things for people. We're very breed-orientated. Mm -hmm. So if you come to me and say, I have a King Charles Cavalier, you'll go on our King Charles Cavalier list and we'll find you something. We're very proactive. We send thousands of emails out every week and we, we tend to find things for our clients. And are there any paintings that are very rare to find in terms of dog breeds? Um, well, you, uh, you, you'll come to me and say, um, I want a Japanese chin and I'll, I won't have one and then the next week I'll find three. There's, there's some, some breeds you, you get more than others, but um, they're all very difficult to find. None, none of them are easy. And you can't find any cat paintings at the moment? Well, I have a couple being uh, cleaned, but I don't have any on the stands because we tend to sell them. But, um, but is that because recently really only they'd become more of a domestic pet and that they weren't...? Well, cats were vermin mm. and uh, they weren't considered um, uh, objects of... a uh, collectible object. Part of the family? Yes, and whereas a horse or a dog would have been part of your family and part of your kudos as mm. an owner, you would have... Going right back to the 17th, 18th century, your horses were very important to your status, so you would have them painted, and dogs to a certain respect. Um, but cats really weren't, uh, weren't so important, uh, so therefore they weren't painted so often. And Julie, how did you get started in antiques? Well, I've been dealing in antiques for 30 years. Um, we start, I started with uh, silver and glass, and then I went into jewellery. And uh, we used to sell big diamonds and things in Singapore and then we came back and um, I said to my husband uh, why don't we specialise in dogs and he said you must be mad and here we are seven years later <laughs> women are always right in dogs. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> thank you Jilly All right, thank you so